Uh, good morning. This is my first morning in uh, Santo Domingo on the, the 16th of, of uh, November. I'm in my uh, room. I just had to clean up a little bit. It's about um, 7 uh, 25 uh, Atlantic time, so it's about 6 25 a.m. Uh, Eastern time. And um, uh, I realized how fat I've gotten. In these, uh, uh, we need some light here. Okay, we've got a little light here. I opened up the, the shade to the courtyard. We'll take a view of the courtyard here, um, just through the window. And uh, let's see here if we can see what the courtyard looks like. Oh, it looks like it's a cloudy day too. It's uh, it's not a not a, not a good day here. This is just the courtyard. We'll get some more views of that later. Uh, but it is it is overcast and it is raining. Uh, I'm just going to clean up the room a little bit here. Um, I've got the uh, let's see, I've got the um, this is, yeah, I've got the Spanish uh, station on. They're all Spanish station. This is some morning talk show. Um, you can hear it. And I just got to do some cleaning up. These are the pants that I wore yesterday. And they were all pretty sweaty from... Uh, Okay, uh, today I'm in front of the post office, uh, which uh, I just mailed the postcard. This is the Quinto Postal Americano. This is the mail. And they have a little sign here. Uh, they have a sign, Instituto Postal Dominicano. And uh, I, I mailed out some postcards today. And uh, my, my photographer is uh, he's part of the National Guard here in the Dominican Republic. Republic of the Dominicana. Um, it should take about um, a week or ten days to uh, to get to uh, to get to the United States. This is how we use. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm here in the Cohiba shop in the, in the zone, the colonial zone, the Dominican Republic, with two of my good friends who've been working here for many years, and over the years they've sold me a lot of uh, very fine cigars. This is the best place in the country, and these guys are getting younger, they're not getting older. They stay the same age. No me mismo edad, siempre. No sé. No sé. They're always the same age, and they're good guys. And when you, when anybody's visiting this country, I want you to stop at this shop. You'll see the beautiful selection. They have sales. They have discounts. They have everything that, that any good cigar smoker like me would need to know. And we have, a, and also there's some beautiful women that work here. <laughs> this is the second floor, the segundo piso of the cigar sí. shop, and these are the workers. They're, they're working on the, They're preparing. They're preparando los the cigars for the shipment. And and these and this woman is making the boxes, the cajasitas. Okay. And this is the. She's labeling. She's labeling them. And he's he's putting the label on. Yeah. And this woman is doing the same. 
El hijo es el que manda ahí. Yo creo que no puedo poner tabaco, creo yo. Yo no puedo poner tabaco, creo yo. Dejen la conversación para que está aquí. Acá, 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 acá. Acá. Oh my gracious. Pero yo llevo una tú contigo. Oh. Para sacarte a ti aquí. Wow. This is a, this is the uh, the beautiful. This is beautiful. This, oh, uh, this is where they Entra mal va a sacar todo. Oh, they call it humidor garnet. You ever see such a thing? This is where the cigars really are. Wow. Mm. <laughs> para sacarte una a ti aquí con Amalia. Ah, para, mira, acá puede ver la fecha. De donde se hizo en el mes 11, el día 2 del 99. Mira las palabras rojo en dentro. Sí. Ok. We're recording now. Here we are in the, the storing, the aging room for the cigars. We, they are aged. The date is put on them so we know how old they are. And these are aged cigars. This is, uh, this is the highest quality of the cigar because it's, uh, we know when they were put here. The date here is. Um, Okay, it's, this was put on in, 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 in November, in November of, 19, of this year, 1999, yes. of this year, este año. Of Son Montecristo número dos. The fumador number, and this is the, it's numbered by the, the, the fumador that it's in. These are all aged, aged cigars. If you're a cigar smoker, you want to come here to the Dominican Republic because you'll meet my good friend who, who works here and he'll show you everything you need to know. You'll, you'll get a, a good deal. Okay, thank you. Okay, now here we're rolling the cigar. We're making the cigar. You can see I, this, I could, this could be my day job. I'll quit my night job and come here and I can work in the Republic of Dominicana. Si yo fuera a trabajar aquí, quiero ayudar a esta posición. Es um, porque yo fuera, yo fuera a ver la. Uh, es bueno, bueno, el tabaco es mejor de mejor en todo el mundo. Todo el mundo está este tabaco aquí. Hmm. En esta máquina, esta, esta máquina. Arriba, 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 arriba. ¿Ya? Ya, Ah, open it. Yeah. <laughs> See, this is round. And then you keep doing this. You have uh, much space. Dilo donde que lo pone. Ah. Ah, then he puts it, when, after that, then he puts it in a holder. And that's it. And that's it. And then, and then they put a final wrapper around it. And we can, in the wrapper, this is a, a different leaf here, and this goes here, in the machine, and he's the tobacco, more tobacco, they double it, they turn it over, they double it, double it, and then he puts it in the, and then I give him up, okay, and then we try it again, Yes. I'm not going to get paid a lot of money for this, trust me. This is not a high paying job. And then he puts it time and a little effort. But it's not a hard, it's not a hard job. And if I were to quit, if I were to leave uh, the United States, if I were to leave the United States, see you no, see you la salir, see you salir, los Estados Unidos siempre, yo voy a voy a quedarse aquí en este país. En la botella del fumador. En este fumador. Arriba. Okay. Sometimes one has to know the better things in life. One of these things is this juice bar, where all they sell is juice. We have, uh, we have across the street, the... Fred! I don't believe it. Here I'm doing it. Come on in. Come in here. Sit down. I don't, this is not planned. Seriously. This is not planned. This is, this is spontaneous. How are you, my brother? This guy is, is not black. 
And he's a white guy. He thinks that he, he, he just has a little cut, but he's actually a white guy. <laughs> I haven't seen him in a long time. Uh, and where are you from? Well, I've been in the United States. Yes, I know, but I call you, man. And I didn't return the message? Yeah, because you give you the telephone before you don't remember. Do you? Yes. Uh, you didn't call me? Yeah, I called call, I didn't call you back? No, you know, because I never know, and you never hear anything about it. He's telling me that he gave me the phone number, and I never, he called me in the States, and I never called him back. So, what we're going to do right now is get the phone number. What's your phone number? C84. Wait, wait. 809 684 4062. 4062. Now, this guy, he used to work at a restaurant, he worked here, worked there, but he's a street smart guy. <laughs> this is Peace Parker. How you doing? I'm a good man. Where's everybody? Where, where are all the people? The people, you know, today are having a hurricane. Yeah, a little bit. The people don't want to come down, but they would have to leave. But there's no real hurricane. No, no. There's no real hurricane here. I mean, I was outside. There's no hurricane. It's a little cloudy. There's no sun. Those girls could make a hurricane. Let me see. I can make a hurricane with the hurricane. Now I'm getting my juice, and uh, this is a juice of, um, of a papaya with leche, with milk, and this is the best one in the world. There's no better juice than this, than this juice bar here. Hey, come here. Oh, come here, come here. Come here, please. Come here, please. the woman who makes the best uh, juice in the world. She, does, she adds the milk, she mixes it up with the machine, she adds the ice, and this, this is the best. Now, I'll taste it. Very hey, good. If you're coming to this country, if you're coming to this country, if you're coming to the uh, Republic of Dominicana, this is the place. And this esquina, this corner, is the best. How much is this? the Pequeña Pequeño de Pequeña 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 de it's a little girl, uh, what do you call that? Uh, what do you call that? She got the girl. Oh, there used to be a little girl that worked here who, was very, who spoke a little of English. She spoke a little English. She spoke a little English. She spoke a little English. Okay. Say. Okay, um, I think it's out. Uh, okay, now we're going to stop this. Okay. Okay. That's all right. Hello, Donna Miller. How you doing? I wish I wish you knew that you have uh, the tastiest uh, apples in the world. They smell great, and my girlfriend will appreciate it very much. I hope you go on growing these apples, and I hope my friend Lawrence can come more often and bring me some more. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah, you already closed the apples. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. They are. They are They're in the bag. That's okay. Yeah, they are great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't think they they will get to my girlfriend's house. <laughs> I think we'll have to share that again. <laughs> hey, you can cut them. You can cut, cut, cut one off and give it, you know. I'll bring more. All right, I hope so. Okay, here we are in the uh, Munenka Bakery in Santa Domingo. It's about 8.35 in the morning, and I've just ordered a, a cafe con leche and a pan con queso, a bread with some cheese. Um, this is one of the best bakeries in the, in the city. Uh, maybe in the country and probably the world. It's um, the, the bakelets are just incredible when it comes to bread, to pot. Uh, 
There's a few clientes, a few uh, customers here right now, early in the morning. It's about 8.35. The street is Calle Mercedes. We'll take a look at the Calle Mercedes. And this is Calle Mercedes. This building here, this pink building, is a great building. Um, uh, anybody's looking to live here. It's not good here in the morning, but it's a great building. Built in 1829. And, uh, and you can see the street is pretty busy at this point. And here's uh, some guaguas, here's some buses. And we're back here. And we're, and we're back here live. There's a lot of noise from the streets, but that's not important. Uh, this is my cup. This is uh, my, my coffee with milk. And uh, they give you uh, sugar. Now this is a pretty strong coffee, so I recommend a lot of sugar. One, two, maybe three, or two and a half. Was me. That's sufficient. Now we'll get a look at the bread from the basin. Bread with cheese. Okay, now we'll take a taste of this. It's very hot. It's not sweet enough. It needs more sugar. It's, it's delicious, but it's very good. It's not sweet. Now, now I'm going to order the... So I'm going to order the bread with the cheese. Now I've just ordered the, the um, with the help of this fellow here, with the help of this fellow here, I've ordered the, the bread and the cheese, and um, okay, now, uh, I want to show you what this is, see, this is a piece of bread, and inside, and in, inside there's a cheese. You see this? And this is really good. There's nothing better than this. I've, I've had bread all over the world, and this is definitely the best bread. You could eat it. This is the best. I'm surprised that there aren't a hundred thousand people in this place. With a little coffee. Now this building here, this pink building, I'm going to say, is actually a very good building. It's built, I think, in 1929.
Para mis amigos en los Estados Unidos, ella no sabe nada y yo puedo enseñar uh, unas cosas de aquí en la capital. En la capital. Hay mucha olla aquí en este país. Oh, sí. Oye, sí. mucha olla lo que hay. No, sí. sí. Esto es político sucio. Lo que oh, no, 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 por político. Ok, here we are in the sugar Here we are in a sugar cane shop, and this is real sugar cane grown here in the Republic of Dominican. This is the real stuff. And this is my, my friend, this is my amigo, and he helped make the sugar cane. Felipe. 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 Uh, Senor Felipe will show us now how he makes the sugar cane. Okay. Uh, the sugar cane juice. It goes in here and comes out of juice. Customer. And this woman would like a small, a, a small juice. He's going to make a small juice. He'll take it out of the. He'll take it out of the plastic and pour juice. Okay. 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 Every day this woman drinks a glass of this juice for her health. Okay. Now we'll go back to the, he's making more. Senor Felipe is making more. See how he, he twists it. He twists it into the juice. He breaks it. He does it again. He gets all the juice possible out of there.
these are the postcards I'm sending today. And um, Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Here she's going to stamp them. Boom. 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 Boom, boom. Can I see? Give me a <risa> eso es metal, eso es guagua de allá. Ah.
Ah, perfecto. No. Mi pollo. La dos. Mi pollo. Now, uh, here I am uh, sitting on the side of the, uh, the road, the main road that parallels the ocean here, the Caribbean Sea. Uh, it's about um, 9.40 in the morning, and uh, and you can see it's, uh, it's pretty sunny, but it's a little, there's a little haze in the sky. It's not quite as bright than normally would be, though I am wearing uh, sunglasses. Um, there's not much going on in this area right now. In fact, one of the main restaurants that used to be here is closed. So uh, it's made a difference. There's some ships coming in. In a second, I'll, there's some ships out at sea waiting to come into the harbor. And there's a couple that are coming in on their own, at which point a tugboat will uh, push them in. Um, Behind me, I'm not sure what. Uh, I'm not sure what what that is. So everything's under construction, so there's a lot of new stuff, a lot of old stuff. Um, it's, it's interesting. They've got porta potties out here uh, that they never had before. Those are rent -a jobs. Um, there used to be a guy that sold coconuts in here. Coconuts. I don't. I don't know where he is right now. So there goes the guy selling ice cream. Um, some, some kind of ice cream. And uh, it's, it's pretty mild. I'd say the, the temperature is comfortable. Um, there's no bad aromas in the air. But you can just hear the, the general level of the noise. Uh, of course, this is the capital. And you have to expect uh, you have to expect a little bit of noise uh, in this area. Yeah, the, the, the sun is uh, the sun is pretty strong, but I don't think it's, it doesn't have the, the strength that it would have, let's say, in the summer. And the angle is not as high. It's actually noticeable here uh, that the uh, angle of the sun is not not quite as high. So uh, I think got this. So this is uh, it's a uh, uh, what is uh, so, my name is, my nombre is uh, ah, Delia Isabel si, Isabel cuantos años tengo si, y, um, um, uh, let's see is this possible? Mm. ok 
Okay, for example, he did say, um, uh, I'm, I'm, yo, uh, yo soy lo que todo tenía. Sí. Y, uh, dime un chiste. Un chiste. Sí. Dime un chiste. Um, I want to get her to say something funny, but I want to say something funny, you know. Que diga algo divertido. Um, yeah. ¿Qué tipo de música te quieres? ¿Qué tipo de música te quieres? Ok. Mi nombre es Elisa. Tengo 32 años, eh, trabajo en el hotel francés como, como supervisora de amanillades, trabajo también como encargada de relaciones públicas, eh, hago eh, varias funciones, por ejemplo, recibo las personas cuando llegan al hotel, eh, me encargo de, de todas las personas que vengan a hacer actividades, me encargo de darle las informaciones que necesitan, también eh, trabajo como secretaria y eh, qué más <laughs> no no okay but yeah okay um for for more and uh, enséñame la, la cosa que la... Sí.